dear learners in this video we are going to discuss satellite on board connectivity which is point from satellite network so let us start with satellite on board connectivity in satellite networks user to user connectivity is established through satellite on board switching and routing depending on the network layer and the on board processing ability the different methods for connectivity are transponder hopping transparent processing and beam scanning in transponder hopping it uses when there is no on board processing on board switching is used when there is transparent and regenerative processing on board let us discuss on board connectivity with transponder hopping the band allocated to the system is divided into as many sub bands as there are beams a set of filters on board the satellite separates the carriers in accordance with the sub band occupied the output of each filter is connected by a transponder to the antenna of the destination beam so it is necessary to use a number of filters and transponders at least equal to the square of the number of beams according to the type of coverage the earth stations must be able to transmit or receive on several frequencies and polarization in order to hop from one transponder to another here we have diagram which shows a repeater who is sending signal to the earth station or receivers which are present on the ground so beam 1 is the signal which is received by one part of the receiver and beam 2 is the signal which is received by another part of the receivers or another group of the receivers so this repeater includes filters as i said and in uplink and downlink we have different bands so beam switching by transponder hopping is a solution when the number of beams is low because the number of transponders increases at least as the square of number of the beams with a large number of beams the satellite payload becomes too complex and too heavy hence beam switching by transponder hopping is used when the number of beams are low if the number of beams are high in this case we require more number of beams and more number of transponders so the payload will be complex and heavy then the next is on board connectivity with transparent processing it is necessary to consider on board switching at lower granularity and shift from beam switching to channel switching two types of technology can provide this kind of connectivity one is analog technology using an intermediate frequency switching matrix one example of which is is known as satellite switched tdma that is ss tdma and another technology is digital technology using baseband processing equipment in particular digital transparent processors that is dtp 
So, let us discuss analog transparent switching. So, figure shows the principle of analog on board transparent switching using an intermediate frequency switching matrix. The satellite payload comprises a programmable switching matrix that has number of inputs as well as outputs equal to the number of beams. Through a transmitter and receiver, the switching matrix connects each downlink and uplink beam. The number of beams is same as the number of repeaters. The switching matrix related to the distribution control unit that is DCU. It connects the input and output for time period such that the carriers in a beam are directed to their destination beam. So, this distribution control unit DCU is associated with the switch matrix establishes the sequence of connection states between each input and output during a period of time in such a way that the carriers arriving at the satellite in each beam are routed to the destination beams. Interconnection between two, two beams is cyclic. Stations must store traffic from users and transmit it in the form of burst when the required interconnection between beam is realized. This technique can be used in practice only with digital transmission and access of the TDMA type. Hence, it is called satellite switch time division multiple access SSTDMA. Here we have frame. A frame is the time period between two connected state. Every frame is a TDMA frame comprising of bursts address to different station. Successive frames can be from different stations that are transmitting and hence have different burst formats. The receiving station recovers the burst that are addressed to every frame. This method is called as SSTDMA. So, frame organization figure shows the frame organization for 3 beam satellite. A frame comprises of traffic field and synchronization field. The traffic field comprises of burst from the traffic station that need to be directed to their destination stations. It comprises a growth space if the traffic demands in small in is small in capacity. The traffic field contains burst at a state the switching matrix retains the same state. The traffic field also contains a growth space as I said. Then there is one more important point window. The duration of a connection between an up beam and down beam is called a window. A window can extend over the duration of switch states. In this slide, we have window organization. This figure shows window organization, how the bursts are positioned in a window time intervals and bursts that are transmitted by station A, B and C. In the window corresponding to a connection from beam 3 to beam 2, each burst transmitted by a station during the window time considered 
and it consists of several sub bursts which contains station to station information. Next is digital transparent switching. When connectivity is required at granularity smaller than a channel, analog technology may not be efficient because it leads to an increased payload complexity. In this case, we need to use digital transparent switching. Digital technology relying on digital filtering and switching it can be introduced here. The figure shows the principle of the digital transparent processor that enables the switching of uplink carriers from one spot beam to another spot beam and the transposition of the frequency. The next is onboard connectivity with beam scanning. Here each coverage area is illuminated cyclically by an antenna beam whose orientation is controlled by a beam forming network which is part of antenna subsystem onboard the satellite. The area station transmit or receive their burst when the area is illuminated by a beam. Interconnection by beam scanning can be considered both with transparent and regenerative payloads. Here we have two methods, one is scanning beam with transparent load and Another is scanning beams with regenerative payload. So, in the figure we have scanning beam with transparent payload. In the absence of onboard st storage, at least two beams are necessary at a given instant. One to establish the uplink and one to establish the downlink as shown in figure. The illumination duration is proportional to the volume of traffic to be carried between two areas. This shows scanning beams with transparent payload. Then in this diagram we can see interconnection by scanning beams. So scanning beams with regenerative payload that is dynamic real time forming of antenna beams permits consideration of single beam satellite with a beam which sequentially scans the various regions of the service zone as shown in figure. The set of dwell areas which are covered sequentially by the beam form the coverage area of the system. When the beam is in a given dwell area, the information destined for stations in the area is extracted from the onboard memory and transmitted in multiplexed form. Simultaneously, these stations transmit information destined for the station in another dwell area. This is stored in the onboard memory for later transmission at the time when the beam passes over the destination area. Now it is time for reflection spot. What is a window? A window is defined as a connection between up beam and down beam. Thank you.